In this next lot of videos, we're going to be looking at the IMU, which is the inertial measurement unit, um, which is a, a suite of three different sensors that exist in the um, sense hat there. Um, the sensors, they have a gyroscope, which measures the actual, which way the board is pointing, which way up it is. It has an accelerometer, which detects movement, and has a magnetometer, which detects magnetic fields. Um, so we're gonna look in this one, in particular, the gyroscope. Um, so you can imagine if my hand was the um, the actual board itself, you got the, the sensor pad down here. If I was to um, move up and down like that, that's considered pitch and roll is like that, um, and then yaw is like that. So you've got those three, which is, you know, terminology that you would hear from, from aircraft as well. So pitch, roll, and yaw, and they're all part of the orientation, and that's measured by our gyroscope. So let's start, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start by getting the, making a variable called O, which is just gonna be hold the orientation. So we say get, get orientation, which will get the values for the pitch, the roll, and the yaw, um, and store them in O. And it actually stores them in a um, in a list. You can actually see, oh no, a list, a dictionary. You can see this is my previous, um, I ran the video, um, the program previously, and that's the actual result. It gets, you know, roll, pitch, and yaw, and it comes in like that. But we don't want to show the dictionary like that. We actually want to make it a little bit simpler. So what you can actually do, um, breaking it up is actually say, well, I'll tell you what, for the pitch, I want that to be O and I want it to be the pitch value out of O. So that should be a square bracket. Um, and the roll should again go to O and give me the roll value. Um, and then finally the your and give me the your value. And if you're, if you're unfamiliar of how a dictionary works, well, basically what it's going to do is says go to the variable O, which is basically this is what's stored in there. Find um, pitch. So it goes along and says, oh, here's pitch. And this is its pair. This is the name. This is the index. And this is the actual value that it will return. It should return that result there. So if I'm going to print those all up, I'm going to say print um, F. And I'm going to use a an F string here to make it a little bit cleaner. Um, and pitch. Um, and an F string just allows me to actually put variables inside curly brackets and it will actually replace, put the value of pitch into there um, instead of actually putting the word or the variable in. Um, roll, oh. sorry, make it a bit neater. Roll equals whatever is stored in the variable roll and then your is whatever is stored in the variable your. Okay, so I'm gonna close that off, I'm gonna close the string off and then close the bracket off. And let's just run that now. And you can see here, roll is that, uh, pitch is that, roll is that, and your is that. So that's the actual results that we're getting from the gyroscope. And that's our first part of um, our IMU videos.